let me just say juliet has a gun count your days because i don't know what to tell you so, hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is simone aka miss super welcome to my world welcome to planet soups let's get right into the video so when i was in paris i purchased this lovely fragrance we stayed in la marais and you know they had tons of fragrance houses there oh they had pen halligans there i went there but what really caught my eye and what i really wanted to try was this juliet has a gun <laughs> juliet has a gun moscow mule and for some reason this idea of the moscow mule really stuck out in my mind and when i smelled it i was immediately like taken by it i think one because i do like the scent and i like the idea of a moscow mule i like the drink i think it's really tasty i was really on board with this idea i smelled all these other fragrances at juliet has a gun they have like their own little store there and nothing really jumped out to me except this moscow mule so i said let me wear it for a little while see how it wears see how it takes with my body chemistry and we'll see long story short obviously i ended up buying it it comes in this really beautiful bag which i mean i've had for a long time <laughs> i got back from paris in september and i'm just now doing this review so it's more of a second impressions video but because i hadn't opened the big box at all i wanted to kind of do it with you guys so this will be my second impressions but let me just say juliet has a gun count your days because if this does not last longer i don't know what to tell you so if you don't know what a Moscow Mule is, it's essentially vodka with ginger beer and you know a few other things to make it tasty, but that's the general gist of it. And I guess it's okay. it doesn't have any of the fragrance notes on there, which I mean I can understand, but this is how it's packaged. And I mean, beautiful, beautiful presentation. I really wasn't expecting this, but it looks kind of like a drink. It looks like a cocktail and I really love that. So it has this like rose gold top and rose gold lettering. Obviously it's glass and yeah, it just has the detailing on the back, but it doesn't say much about the notes. So I wanna see if there's any detailing on that no there is not so i'm just gonna go ahead and spray it out oops spray it at you guys mm. okay so now i remember why i like this at first i never really picked up the fact that it's somewhat powdery and it is similar to dolce and gabbana light blue but it's not that same like girliness i feel like it's this is a girly perfume but it's a little bit more grown up it's very great for everyday wear which i'm a signature scent type of girl i was really purchasing this in order to replace my current scent you know i wanted to kind of run through that and then fully transition to this but it has a hint of citrus it is very powdery it's very fun it's somewhat tropical it's exactly what you would think a moscow mule is but if a moscow mule was like a nice lady who has her shit together she has her things together she's like wealthy and you don't know it you know she's wealthy and she doesn't want you to know so she smells great and you're like oh you know, she smells good, but her scent lingers. You remember her. Her hair is always done. You know, her nails are really nice. She's just very low-key, low-key elegance, low-key wealth, low-key just good vibes. That's what this smells like. It smells like she just got back from a tropical vacation a week ago, but she's not going to mention it in the conversation. That's what this smells like. And the only gripe that I have with this, the only negative thing I have to say 
They're trying to choke me. Juliet. <coughs> um, not even joking. <coughs> Let me put this down. The only negative thing I have to say is that it does not last. It does not last. And my cousin was with me in Paris. I actually went to go visit her. And I'm like, hey, you know, smell this on me. And she said that it was lasting, but it did not last on me. It had no staying power. And I didn't find that it had any sillage. It didn't have any sillage. Um, it didn't really have that walk into a room and have it linger. And I wish that it did because right now, as I sprayed it in the atmosphere, I can still smell it. I didn't spray it on anything in particular and I can still smell it, but I feel like when it's on me, it doesn't last at all. So it might be that my nose is just very used to it already or that it's so much a signature scent to me already that i don't smell it as much but i feel like a lot of people have said the same thing that it does not last i wouldn't even say that it lasts three hours i think at most like 45 minutes so i'm going to test it again but i did want to make this review and i did want to show you guys obviously you know the packaging is beautiful I wanted to open it up with you guys and you know just share a little bit because i love sharing with you and you know obviously i've had this in september so it's time for me to open it but it's a really great scent i think it just doesn't last and like i said if they found a way to make it last a little bit longer it would just be chef's kiss it would just be so perfect because i feel like it's a great everyday perfume um, if you want to wear this to the office, I think it's really great. It's unoffensive. I think it doesn't really work for a night scent unless it's like summertime. So we are headed into the summer. We are headed into the spring. I think it's a great warm weather scent. I think you can definitely wear it in the winter time as well because it does have, like I said, it has this like powdery warmth to it. Like it smells like a tropical vacation so you know you're gonna have that and you know if you vacation all year round you vacation all year round you know it's no big deal it's nothing to us so that's why i kind of picked it as my signature scent i think once i finish what i have now i am going to transition to this even if it doesn't last as long i'll find ways to incorporate it into my body care so that it does have a little bit more of a foundation and listen if all else fails i will spray the hell out of it and it'll just be that'll be what it is you know that is my full review i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you got something out of this and that you will return make sure that you are subscribed to my channel make sure you give this video a like a thumbs up and comment down below what other fragrances you want me to try i did purchase another one from Paris but it wasn't in Paris that I bought it so I will share that with you guys next and that one is also like a very rich vibe so I'm excited to share that one with you as well um until then I will see you in my next one bye